So, YouTube loses money. Their uh, revenue does not cover the cost to operate, and Alphabet, Google, takes the hit on that for I'm not sure what reason. But the way I see it is that YouTube would suddenly make money and would help Alphabet, Google, achieve their other long-term objectives if they basically just tied <coughs> the private video storage on YouTube to your Google OneDrive account. So if you have, you know, the first 15 gigs of private video on YouTube, subtract from your OneDrive account, and then after that, you're going to have to start paying to store your private videos. The whole point of YouTube was so that people could create content that other people could see. It wasn't that people could create content just to have a content reservoir for themselves in their own private viewing. This would also help solve some problems or help stop some problems of copyrighted content or illegal content just hiding out at uh, YouTube's private videos would solve the problem. The problem's not huge to begin with, but it's just one more thing that would give them a hard time. But still, I think YouTube would suddenly have, would suddenly be cash positive, and they could make more favorable ad terms towards content creators. And this, you know, makes it so that YouTube can get better content with more favorable ad terms, that it's turning a profit because of all the new subscriptions to the OneDrive, um, and suddenly life gets better for everyone. Google gets more people on their cloud storage product. That's what they want. Well, hold a gun to their head and make them. Say, yeah, sure, we'll give you, you know, your first 15 gigs of private YouTube video hosting. Fine, we'll do that, we'll do that. It'll count against your OneDrive storage. And then after that, it'll cost you. I don't see, I don't have a problem with it. And, you know, especially if, if more people get signed up, then, you know, at some point, Google will bump up the whole OneDrive capacity because they can afford to. I mean, 15 gigs is enough to do stuff, but, you know, it'll always be nice to have more. Nobody ever complains about more places to store stuff. But I think more importantly here is that it helps to make YouTube profitable, which means that YouTube can afford to give better better uh, means that YouTube can afford to let content creators keep more of the ad revenue. I think that's a win for everybody. So, that's how you make YouTube profitable, Alphabet. It'd be good for everybody if you did it. You win by getting more people on your cloud storage product. YouTube content creators win because there's more money in the pool to get for them to try and earn. Get on it. Hey, just enough.